Yeah, this might be a bad idea. He has a nest. Yeah. He's probably going to want to protect it. He's kind of chilling up there looking around. Nice big bald eagle. About as close as you get right there. So let's get closer. We can see him. There he goes. Wow, look at the wingspan on him. Massive. This is kind of cool. I'm just kind of going along the bank here and looking at all the fire rock. If you see right there, there's a little half of a nutting stone. I'm not going to take that with me. It's not that nice. I also found this little, it looks like a preform to a cell almost. It's pretty neat. You can see they worked on it on the edges. It's awesome. I'm not going to take it with me. I'm going to hold out for something whole. Alright guys, I'm out. Look at that. Is that Squirrel Man? You gotta go catch your buddy, Rocks. Makes you wonder how he got out here on this island. If he swam or if there's just always been a population of squirrels here. Who knows? I'm not sure, like, I don't know, not even a quarter up the uh, side of that hill. There's like a little trail looking thing. Well, that was the original road that connected all the different forts along the Ohio River. And George Washington and a bunch of other troops actually marched that. And, you know, were fighting off Indians as they went. Um, it's actually a pretty cool story and a piece of history in my area. You know, after... You know, we really colonized and got settled. They used that same trail that was already there and built a railroad. You know, this is hundreds of, about a hundred years later, obviously, but uh, it's just cool that that kind of history is still out here. And I'm sure you can still metal detect along there and find artifacts from that time period. Just figured I'd share that with you guys. It's a pretty cool piece of history. I'm out. Alright guys, this is starting to look good through here. Um, I put on this bank because you can see like there's a cut bank and it gets like real sandy. But I mean, look at all this fire rock. I mean, I haven't seen a flake of flint yet, but with all this fire rock here, this is really promising. Um, I'm not going to keep it on live or anything because I've never been here. Um, I'm just going to look around for... 20 minutes or so and I'll get at you guys if uh, I find anything. I'm out. Alright guys, got some exciting stuff happening. I know now for sure that this is definitely a Native American campsite. Um, you look right down here between these rocks. I got a flake of flint. Yeah, it's cracked open a river pebble. Probably a river pebble chart, I'm sure. That's cool. So now we know that what this is here. Um, so this is really what you want to look for. You know, I've been paddling for hours now, like three or four hours. I'm all worn out already, and I still have a long paddle to go. Um, you see the high cut bank, and everything is washing down to the beach. Um, when you get on the beach and you start seeing red sandstone like that, you know you're in the right place. Um, Sorry, there's a fast boat going by. Um, next thing you want to look for, you want to look really closely. This is when you want to take your time. And look really closely for little flakes of flint. I mean, some of them are going to be smaller than, you know, half of your pinky nail. That's just the way it is. Um, so 
So that's the kind of things you want to look for. And once you've discovered that that's a site, then you can come back and continuously come back and find arrowheads. Watching on over there. Yeah, you. Hi. You got a big carp. Oh, you don't really care that I'm here at all, do you? <laughs> 